Hey guys, Nabil here. Hope everyone is doing great. We have some pretty cool King of Fighters 15 related news. Uh, but before we do that, gentle reminder as always, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you are notified whenever I drop a new video. Now, as I said in the previous video, about 70% of the views I'm getting on the channel are from people who did not subscribe. So most of you watching this video have not subscribed to the channel. So please consider subscribing, leave a like because that really helps the channel. And now let's talk about Shingo specifically. Uh, now, when they announced that the King of Fighters 15 is gonna have single entry DLCs like Shingo and, and my boy Kim coming out in a in, in, in few weeks and then we have Najd and, and, and uh, Sylvie and then two more which hopefully hopefully are Hinako and Duolon. I thought it was gonna be kind of like the King of Fighters 14. I mean these these DLCs are not canon. There, there's no story behind them. It's just there for us to enjoy it. Turns out I was wrong because SNK today updated their website, official website, with the story behind Shingo joining the King of Fighters 15. Yes, Shingo officially entered the King of Fighters 15 as a single entry single entrance this is similar to his first appearance in the king of fighters 97 because story-wise in the king of fighters 97 there were kind of like two parts of the tournament there was the main three versus three tournament and then there was another tournament which is single entries one one you know fighter against another it was never elaborated and it's the same case here because according to the story which is a beautifully written one by the way we see that shingo is training with saishu kind of similar to what we saw before in the ending of the team sacred treasures as well as in the manga uh, by azuma kyotaro and we learned that actually he started kind of creating the flames it's just not not big flames not big enough kind of like what we saw in the game obviously and then we see that he actually received an invitation he went home and he received an invitation uh, official invitation for him to join the King of Fighters 15 as a single entrance, which is really, really cool. I love that there's more story to these guys not, and just not random DLC characters. Now it makes me very intrigued why Kim is a single entrance this time, uh, sing single entrant. And also, I'm really curious about Najd because Najd did not receive a story back in the King of Fighters 14, so now she's gonna have some sort of storyline for her joining the game and i love that i love that and i really hope these stories that they have on the website by the way if you guys haven't checked them out they're amazing they're beautifully written and it really it pains my heart that it's not part of the game i wanted the, you know those stories and just you know if snk could just add some some sort of, of you know few still images about those stories and then show them at the beginning of every time you choose a team like a full team that would have been amazing. That would have been amazing. The King of Fighters is known for great storytelling. And unfortunately, the game does not have a proper story mode. Hopefully, this is going to change in the future. But that is awesome, I think. And, and looking forward to Kim. Always talking about the King of Fighters 15. And this is pretty much a centric, a KOF 15 centric video. Um, SNK has announced that it's going to provide the opportunity for the winners of some tournaments to be uh, to actually go to the EVO Japan and they have their expenses paid now in a post on their Facebook they first made a post on Twitter then they, then, then they posted this on Facebook as you can see celebrating the King of Fighters 15 tournament at EVO Japan 2023 SNK will be providing a travel expense voucher to Japan's biggest esport event for the King of Fighters 15 winners the first and second at Faustings, Faustings, Frost Faustings, Faustings 15 and the first uh, at Shatter Strike 2. The voucher eligibility, Frosty Faustin, the King of Fighters 15th, first and second place. SNK representative will contact the eligible players after the above tournaments have concluded. Uh, and eligible players may transfer the voucher to the player directly below them if they want to, if they're not going within one week after contact. Uh, I think this is pretty awesome. So they, they actually said that um, the voucher will be at $2,000 for the first place, $2,000 for the second place for Frosty Faustings and 2,000 euros for the first place at Shatter Strike 2. And I think this is really awesome that they're doing this. Um, and it seems, you know, like everybody else, SNK is pretty excited about the King of Fighters 15 being at EVO Japan, which is happening in April. Uh, actually, uh, March 31st is, is March 31st and up to April 2nd, I believe. I think that's going to be awesome. I can't wait to see uh, how this game, the game's going to, you know, how the game's going to perform in there. And I, and I would really hope, I would love to be there, honestly, but um, we'll see how it goes. So, uh, last thing about the King of Waters 15, if somehow you don't, st you still don't have the game and you have a PlayStation 4 or 5 and you still don't have the King of Waters 15, there's a sale going on right now on the PlayStation Store. The King of Waters 15 is 50% off. 
for the standard edition and the first team and second team DLCs also go for 50% and then 40% respectively. So this is your chance if you have not purchased the King of Fighters 15 yet, this is your chance to buy it at a discount and a reminder that the game is going to get cross-play platform in the next coming months. So what do you guys think about all that? Let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video from Neo Geo Now. Now don't forget to like and subscribe if you have not done so. And I would like to take this opportunity and thank my patrons for supporting the channel and making this content possible. Making daily videos and especially the documentaries and lore episodes takes a very long time and a lot of effort. And being able to get some support for these time consuming tasks allow me to keep going and strive for more and better content. With that said, I want to give a big special shout out to Michael, Brian Tiard, Fahad Aswedi, Jacques Paul, Beru Gadono, and Enrique Sandoval. As well as special thanks to Shaka Asamia, Refugio Robles, Felipe Guimara, Jihao Ju, Mohamed Al Blushi, Anthony Longino, Burned Retinas, Lily Wong Esmeralda, Goran, and Danger Man 1973. Those of you who are not yet Neo Geo Now Patrons, I hope you will check my Patreon page where you can become Patrons, helping the channel produce more videos as well as receive special perks that are exclusive to Patrons, like early access to videos, exclusive making offs, and other SNK digital goodies. Link for the Neo Geo Patreon page is in the description below. So until next time, thank you for watching.